and welcome to the NIO with Home Science Practical number 16. And our today's practical is to find out and identify the different types of features and expressions that develops over time with a child. The objectives involved in this practical are number one, to find out how does a child communicate. Number two, what are the development in the expressions of the child? Development of and number three, to find out the development of vocabulary over time. These are the three objectives involved in this practical. So, for a better information and to find out and to compare, it is better that you have different types of children of different age group instead of just way looking at one person to uh, and writing about it. Because you see, if you have just one child, it's very difficult to find out the different types of guesses because the in your table it has been mentioned according to the age wise. That is, eight to twelve months, one to one and a half. 1.5 to 2 and 2 to 3 years. So it's better to have 4 different types of children that fall under this age category and find out 3 things about them. And they are their gesture, their sentences, ability to make sentences and finally their vocab. So we, my students had gone through, so we had seen some of the students and had spoken to them and found out few things that these three things about them depending upon their age wise and had noted down their information. So let me come forward and show you what has to be filled in the table and how it has happened. So dear students, you have been given with this observation table on your booklet. So here you have four columns that says you need four different types of children. The first child should be between 8 to 12 months, the second one from 1 to 1 and a half, third one from 1 and a half to 2 and the fourth one from 2 to 3 years. Each child you need to identify three things that is their gesture, sentence and their vocab. Let us talk about the gesture of a child who is 8 to 12 months. The gesture is either sit, smile, laugh, cry and there is no giggling but for a child from one and a half to two years has a little bit of giggling at the same time they sit and they crawl also. Let us talk first about this column only. So in the gesture as I've told you before just sitting, laughing, smiling, crying. Their sentence they are not able to make any sentence so we have written no. For vocabulary they can make only two words such as mom, mama, dad like that. Now come to the second part that is child number two from one to one and a half year. They are gestures they can sit and they can now start crawling. And they hold things also. They can start holding the things they start pointing also. Their sentences can be they can make some sentences which are made up of two words like for example mama, water, mama, food like that. And their vocabulary is going to be from five to ten words. A child who is one and a half to two years old holds and walks takes the support of something and then walks. He can also sit in a walker, has a hold on his back and then starts to walk little. But as it is, he needs to hold. The sentences that he makes is try to make a three, two to three or three to four word sentences. And the number of vocabulary he knows is 25 to 30 words. Because he tries to get to know the people. Child number four and the last one is from two to three years. A two to three year child can start walking straight he might limp and the sentences is he may try to make basic sentences because three years old child can make basic sentences because it all depends upon the number of vocabulary as he will learn with time. And the vocabulary by this time he knows is 100 to 200 words. That's a different thing that after a three year old child can go to a nursery where he will learn more amount of words. These are the four types of children whose we have talked about their gesture, their sentence and their vocabulary. Now let us come forward to the related question areas and discuss with you. So dear students, let us now discuss about the related question areas. The first question that has been asked is 
How do children communicate in the age group of 8 to 1 year? 8 months to 1 year, how do they communicate? These children communicate either by pointing over towards something or looking at something to an eye or giving an eye contact if something is in front and crying for it. Some people would think that when they cry that means they are scared of it or no. But sometimes for example if a water is kept in front of you and the child knows it is water something to drink then he would look at it by giving an eye contact and cry. Or he will point it towards it saying that he or she wants it. Question number two. When does a child start to utter complete sentences? A child will learn to do complete sentences after the age of two and a half to three years. That is the time when they will say complete sentences, that is basic sentences. Then later you can send them to the nurseries or somewhere else where they can start learning more amount of words so that a strong vocabulary will help in making the sentence. Question number three. What is your rough estimate of a child's vocabulary by the time he is one year old? By the child he is one year old, the rough vocabulary should be about 20 to 25 words. As he starts to get to know different people, family in the house and some names. As you know, child always loves to play and eat during that period of time. So he would know only those names. Question number four. Do you see any gender difference in development of language? Well, in this case, gender difference means male or female children are different. Might be possible as depends upon the environment where the child is living. If a child is more close between to a father or to a mother, or the child is male or female, they have a different quality of or ability of picking up words. Maybe the girl is faster than the boy, or the boy is faster, but it all depends upon the environment where they live in. Question number five. What is the role of other members in a child's language development? Every member of a family should give equal time to the child sit with him or her so that speak to them. While speaking, you create an affection between the child and yourself. This affection and while you are talking to them, the child starts to pick up those words slowly. And when the words are repeated again and again over a period of time, they get to know more words and more vocabulary. So, as a rough idea, we had written on the table below how many words the children would know. This love and affection and the continuous repetition of the words will help the child to know more amount of words and then increase the vocabulary list in them so that they can use it and say complete or basic sentences by the age of two or three. Some people have the ability of doing it much before. These are the five possible types of questions that you people will be asked during your examination. Any questions you people have, please let me know in the comment box below. Thanks for watching the video.